Hello everyone. So uh, today I want to introduce uh, one of the, uh, the first basic uh, complex uh, vector computing. That is one of uh, the uh, section in the uh, introduction to the quantum computing and programming the courses. And uh, I hope you enjoy this uh, class because this is the first basic if you want uh, to learn about the quantum and quantum computing or quantum cryptography. So this is a kind of very basic and uh, can be uh, suitable for everyone. Not only you know the university school. If you are high school students, you still can uh, join uh, this course. Okay. So uh, today we introduce about the basics, complex vector. So we have uh, three key points in our lesson. The first is how uh, we can present the real number and complex number and complex vector in the mathematics uh, the format. Okay. So I will uh, introduce step by step, and uh, we'll look and see. Okay. Uh, first is uh, that is called the, the real number. Okay. Uh, maybe someone will ask, what is the real number? Okay. Uh, this we have one of vector. So uh, we have a value, something like this. Uh, you can call that kind of the, the length, or you can count a number in practice. How many pupils and how many students in our class? Something like that. That is real. And something you can uh, uh, calculate the square root to something like that. You can calculate about the, you know, uh, the square, yeah, the square or uh, the coverage, something like that. So that is called the real number. And uh, in practice, you can uh, represent uh, one vector, include the two, the, you know, two the values in uh, the real number. It's called a vector v. So vector v include uh, you know, two values, the c1 and c2. And c1 and c2 in the real number set. Okay? Yeah. You know, this one is uh, in. That's in, yeah. And uh, it's very important when we have one of real number, you can represent one of, you know, uh, by basis or standard basis uh, in the real number is standard basis. And standard basis have a very special, special value. Uh, first is, uh, that's E1, that's uh, 1, 0, and the E2, that is uh, 0, 1. Uh, it's a similar like this. You have a kind of uh, this guy you need, yeah, you need, and uh, based on this you need, you can uh, calculate every the other value. Yeah, that is very important. And something in practice you can uh, use this guy you need for you know uh, calculate uh, the bigger bigger than uh, the value. And over here if you can see uh, the v vector v from uh, include the two you know two value in the real number c1 and c2 and we can represent this vector by the, you know, the, uh, the values, the real number, multiply with the, the standard basis or unit, or unit, this unit, unit vector, yeah, unit vector. And it's going, so that's called the linear combination, yeah, combination, yeah. So that is how you plus or how you multiply with uh, the two value, yeah. And here is how uh, the real number or the vector uh, space uh, in the real number to represent in the polar, yes, polar form or uh, yeah, this polar form and two dimension, yeah, two dimension we have a x, yeah, this x we have a y, right? So uh, for example, about this one is a v1, we have a two value c, uh, this c1, right, and c2. So uh, this one, C1, so you can uh, calculate like this, this, this one is C, uh, C1, yeah, C1. And uh, one, that means uh, equal to this kind of value, okay. This one, or uh, two, this one, uh, this two, right? And similar, uh, V2, so it's uh, one, two, that means uh, this one. Yeah. So uh, when you multiply, uh, or you can uh, uh, plus two vector value together, so you can uh, see. 
So I can add, uh, you know, I can add uh, V uh, C1 and C or, uh, C2 too, yeah, or C11. So you can uh, see the total value is uh, 3 and 3. Actually, if you see in the format, uh, you know, in uh, the polar form, so you can uh, see uh, if I plus 2 vector, I plus 2 vector, so it's equal to this one. And uh, add this value, right? So the total value will be equal to this, right? So that's a 3. It's going to, yeah, this is equal to uh, 3. Uh, actually, this one is a little bit uh, short, yeah. But um, that is how it's present in the, you know, the polar form, yeah. And it's going to, when we can plus two vector, it's going to linear combination, yeah. Uh, actually, this is quite basic, and I, uh, I hope you can understand what it's meaning. Okay, uh, when we have a uh, move to complex uh, vector uh, space, okay, what is complex? What's the difference between the real number? So we we'll look at C, okay. We have uh, one. This is a real, right? Real number. What about the complex? Okay. Complex is a uh, kind of bigger. We have one and we have uh, uh, two i, right, yeah. Something uh, we have is the, the new the, uh, the, the value. And the real number cannot cover, cannot cover this bit. So we need to have a bigger one, complex number. Complex. So we can uh, say uh, complex number. Complex number is, uh, uh, speed is bigger, bigger than the real. Okay, it's bigger. That's very important. Yeah. Uh, it's very similar in practice. If you cannot represent in one speed, you need to extend. Yeah, you need to extend. And the real number, that is kind of a uh, very good way. And uh, if you see in the real, uh, you know, complex number, we have uh, some different. First, you see this i, right? We have an i. And uh, you will see a c1. Uh, in the real number, we only have uh, this part. But in complex number, we have uh, more. We have uh, i and x2. It is similar to uh, y. c2, you have uh, y1 and y2, and have uh, i. So uh, the most important, I hope you remember in this uh, part, in the complex number or complex vector space, you have a uh, first part is real, and the second part is the complex number. Okay? Yeah. So uh, and you know the uh, in this one you can uh, see this one always in the real number. Yeah, in real number. But we have a uh, uh, more uh, the notation is called the i, and the value for i. Uh, where is equal to the you know square root or minus uh, one. Uh, this value, that's called uh, you know this one. We will explain more in the next slide or next uh, lesson how we can calculate this number later. For now, you only need to know okay this i equal to the, you know, the square root or minus one. Okay, uh, when we want to uh, represent is bigger bigger space. Uh, over here, if you only see have a uh, two dimension, okay. Now we want to extend a bigger dimension. What about the V n? This is n. We have n dimension uh, over here: c one, c two, and c n. That means uh, we have a very big. And if we want to uh, represent a bigger space, yeah, we can set you know. Uh, the number of uh, element is uh, bigger and it's going to set, yeah, it's going to set, set complex number, yeah. And uh, in the complex number, uh, we have similar to the real number, we have a standard basis, yeah, standard basis include about the uh, 0, 1 or the 1, 0, so you can see, yeah. And each, uh, based on a standard basis, we can extend to the uh, 
uh, original you know, or to the full, full, the full form uh, for the complex number space. So if you see over here, we have uh, you know the complex uh, vector space x1, x2, xn, and uh, vector v is a uh, y1, y2, y n. And when we plus two vectors together, so you can uh, see uh, we have uh, uh, we we can uh, add two uh, elements. The first element, the second, yes, the second, and the n, the, uh, the element. So if you can see, yeah. It's very similar. You plus uh, or the um, uh, add the values in the uh, real number. Only different about the you know in this on in C N. Yeah, this is very important. It's only different about the uh, uh, the number space. Yeah, and here over here we have a similar two part. This is called the real, and this is called the, uh, the you know the imaging. Yeah, so actually this is a I or B I, yeah. We can. Uh, can this part is a real, and the second part is a complex number, yeah. Uh, we will look more detail about how to do this part in the future, yeah. And uh, here, when we have a complex number and uh, we want to multiply the value, this is a value, the complex number, and this is a vector, okay? This is a vector, this is a vector. So when we uh, multiply this complex number and the one vector, so uh, we can uh, multiply with uh, x element, yeah. So if you see, yeah, equal to the uh, alpha, the x1 alpha x2, right? So that is a very similar like uh, you do uh, multiply the value in the comp complex uh, in real number, yeah. So. Okay, uh, in this lesson, I will introduce uh, the three key points. First is real number, yeah, real number. And I will introduce about the, the complex number. And the important key point, the complex number, complex number is uh, greater than the real number, okay? And the th uh, third one, how we can, um, uh, we can represent the uh, vector in the complex number and the real number, like we have uh, u, we have a c1, yeah, c2, and cn. And C, we have a CN, uh, yeah, equal to an in the you know complex number. Yes, I hope you enjoy and uh, I got uh, this point for three points. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm.